So Dr. Allison Ryan, welcome uh, to our first Skin Sage uh, informal chat and tell us a little bit about you. Sure. Um, thanks so much for having me. I'm Dr. Allison Ryan. I have been working as a dermatologist for 20 years now, which I cannot believe how the time has flown. Um, I've done a bunch of different things in dermatology, and I would say one of my favorite things about the field is that I get to work with people of all different ages. You know, today we're here to talk a little bit about telemedicine because that is what Skin Sage is, and you are one of the newest additions to our Skin Sage team. So, what is your background with telemedicine? Well, this is so funny. I've been thinking about this for a while. Um, I think my earliest exposure to telemedicine was back when I was in residency, when one of my attendings was exploring the field of telemedicine. And at the time, none of us understood it. None of us got on board. I couldn't even imagine why you'd want to do it. I imagined it was sort of an option of last resort. And the other really funny thing is that at the same time, my husband was doing his dissertation and he was studying telemedicine in the field of mental health. He learned that um, whether you were in person or doing telemedicine, the outcome was the same. And even then I couldn't really imagine why you'd want to be doing it. Uh, but fast forward to just a couple years ago when I got my own feet wet um, and realized the benefits. Well, so that, that takes me to the question of what are the pros and cons of telemedicine? With traditional medicine or other medicine specialties like dermatology, does it work? It's a really interesting question about whether telemedicine can work for fields like dermatology. And I do think that one of the limitations obviously is that it's true that not everything can be done virtually. You can't do a biopsy virtually. There are certain things that have to be done in person. But what I've learned from doing it is that the, to me, one of the hardest things to imagine was how you make a relationship with a patient. But I have learned that you can have an authentic, meaningful relationship, even through a virtual platform. And that has been maybe a surprise in the beginning and a wonderful thing to discover. You're saying that actually a lot of the um, medicine day to day that's practiced within the dermatology profession can in fact be diagnosed and viewed online. And what I've realized is that it's actually massively increased the accessibility that people have. It's almost broken down all the barriers of time and geography. I mean, I was working in Switzerland and talking with people in California, and we were able to find a way to connect and discuss, review photos, um, do everything that we needed to do. Um, and it just allowed an increased ability to connect with people everywhere who need help. So it's not just an option of last resort where you only do telemedicine if you live in a very remote community. Um, it's made not only has it made working easier for me because I have flexibility, but for my patients, they don't have to take time off of work and commute. They don't have to sit in a waiting room with, you know, people who are coughing, you know, so it's been, it's been a really great way to, uh, to connect. Right. Well, in this time of COVID, we're all nervous about anyone coughing next, next to us. Um, I understand that your current job, I mean, obviously you're with skin safe, the other half of your time, um, yeah you are not in traditional telemedicine. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Right, my other job is not a traditional um, physician telemedicine job um, in the sense that in my other position, I'm not diagnosing and treating patients, but what I do is it's almost like a second opinion, a review of what's been going on. Um, I really love it because people come to me, they already have a diagnosis, um, but, or, or they don't, they might not actually, but they have something that they don't understand. Right. So they have a rash that won't go away. They've seen a bunch of doctors and things aren't resolving, or they have um, intractable acne, or they have questions about their skin cancers and their management. Um, so it's been a really fantastic way of talking with people and educating them. And actually that's the thing that I like best about um, that job and what I'm really looking forward to doing with my patients at SkinSage is having the educational component because I always tell all of my patients how important it is to be their own advocates. I think this second opinion uh, situation that you do is utterly fantastic because that way you have a consensus and, and different doctors may have 
a slightly different view on how to treat something and maybe that combined view can actually be helpful to the patient. Right. I think offering a second opinion is so critical because a lot of times patients go in to see their doctors and they only have maybe 10 or maybe the luxury of 15 minutes and that's about it and it's just not enough time to get to know the patient to have a like a nice chat back and forth find out who they are um, and then get down to the brass tacks of their concerns. So to be able to offer a second opinion has been just invaluable to them. Because a lot of people come to me and they sometimes have a sense of hopelessness, like this itch is never going to go away or I'm never going to fix the problem. And I want people to understand there are options. And you're the other thing you're right about, you mentioned that a lot of doctors have slightly different ways of doing things. And I think that's important to remind people that medicine is an art. That's what we always say, it's an art. There is more than one way of doing things. Right, well in telemedicine and a platform like SkinSage allows for that kind of collaboration to happen amongst doctors. I always use the word collaboration. <laughs> I like to remind people that is what we're doing. Um, giving a second opinion is never meant to step on anybody's toes. And I tell them that it's not a secret that you're talking with me. I hope that you take all the information that you get from me and you share it openly with your doctors because only with a collaboration and the open communication can you get the best care. <laughs> well, Dr. Ryan, one last question. Um, why are you looking forward to being a part of SkinSage? The thing uh, I'm looking forward to with SkinSage um, is to just work with a great team. I've known Rava for years. I've had the pleasure of knowing her as a colleague and a friend. I think she's incredible. And I just feel honored to be able to be a part of the team and to work with her again. That's wonderful. We're so excited to have you on board as well. Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much for your time, Allison. Really appreciate it.